do today is since we got all that stuff done and don't worry this is coming off but today we're gonna work on getting the exhaust off so i'm gonna get you guys set up on the tripod and i'm gonna start working on getting this off right now um the biggest thing that i'm gonna have to figure out exactly is the oil cooler because um pretty sure you may just have to take this bolt off and the one on the other side and that should be good but it's quite a bit of clearance in here so who knows maybe i won't have to take any of this stuff for loose and i can just work around in there but yeah no matter what i gotta do in order to get the exhaust off i'll let you know um as i go or after i get it off i'm gonna try to drop it all as like one piece outside of the can so let me get y'all set up so i can get started So since this bike's got the oil cooler on it, I'm sure most people before with the previous gen, they didn't have the oil cooler. So they would just loosen the, the radiator and pull it forward to get in there. I'm pretty sure I could probably get in there and get the bolts out, but because of the way the bracket is for the oil cooler, it goes through the middle. I'm not sure if you can drop the exhaust with it there. So I'm gonna take that bracket off and then I'm going to loosen everything up so that way if I do need some free play to get in, I'll be able to move some stuff around. I've already drained most of the cooling out of the system. Uh, right now, I'm working on getting the radiator off. I don't know if you guys can see in there, but right there is the bolt that holds the lower radiator mount and the upper oil cooler mount. So I had to take that bolt out. And then up top, you got one bolt here. And it's weird. Most radiators have two bolts, but this one just has like this little push um, thing right here. This little plastic piece that push through the rubber grommet. I don't know if, can you see it? Yeah, right there. It's just got a little plastic piece. So I'm wondering when I go to pull this off, how hard it's gonna be to um, get that out of there. If it's just gonna pop out or if it's something else that I gotta do to get it out. I'm gonna go ahead and get y'all set back up on the tripod and I'm gonna get back to Trying to get this exhaust off, I guess. Well, getting the radiator off first, just so I can get a little bit more room to do what I need to do. So I'm gonna just go ahead and take it off and then work on getting the rest of the exhaust off. So stand by.
All right, so that was basically exhaust removal. I probably removed some stuff that I didn't have to remove to do it. Granted, a lot of this stuff I wanted removed anyway because I had to remove the emission stuff. But being that I've never worked on a ZX-10, I removed whatever I felt was necessary for me to get to the parts that I needed to get to to get the exhaust off. So everything I did, you guys may not have to do, but that's your choice. You know, it's probably other people that are going to post videos with better ways of doing it. But me being one of the first people doing this myself that isn't a part of a race team or a shop owner or something like that just a normal guy this is how i did it and nothing got broke nothing had to be bent nothing had to be cut none of that stuff except for some zip ties but basically in the next video i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get the weight of the oem exhaust all the pieces for it and weigh it versus the graves exhaust and then you guys will get that at the beginning of the next video and also you'll get the insulation of the exhaust as well sound clip probably won't come until a little ways down once we get a lot of stuff back put on the bike so for now thank you guys for being here watching hopefully you stayed around and watched the whole video however i decided to cut fast forward music whatever i decided to do hopefully you guys watched it and maybe you learned some or maybe i did something that i didn't have to do that you guys maybe know may know so just comment below what you guys think about the video. Later.